It is once again time to head into the depth of space and go exploring, and this time we're heading into very deep space. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Lean Dangerous with Down to Earth Astronomy and to another episode of Worth a Visit. As I said, we're heading into deep space this time. Because this time, as you can probably guess, we are heading to a system known as Beagle Point. Now Beagle Point is quite far away. If we go in here to the galaxy map and we search for Beagle Point, you can see that it is quite far away. We're still moving. And there we have it, Beagle Point, over 65,000 light years away from, um, from the bubble. It is actually at the opposite end of the galaxy. I mean, we can't even see the bubble from here. Um, it is actually over twice the distance than uh, Secretaris A. So this is quite a journey out here. So I guess all there is to do is to get our anaconda, launch, and let's get out there. Now luckily I don't have to fly all the way to Beagle Point. That would be quite the journey. Because a couple of weeks ago, Commander McQuire from the Discord server associated with the channel he was out there on his own exploration trip and he allowed me to join his ship in Multicrew, which allowed me to make the videos that you now see running here in the background. Now, Beagle Point has not always been named Beagle Point. Originally, it was named Sikara ZQL C24 0, which, of course, is a not so easy to remember name. But after it was first discovered by Commander Kamsel, he renamed the system Beagle Point after his ASP Explorer, the DSS Beagle. And the reason why he named this system in particular was because this was the furthest the ship would take him. Remember, this is the day before engineering. You could not increase your jump range with engineering. So jump ranges was a lot shorter back then, which just made it a much greater feat to actually make it out here in the unengineered ASP Explorer. Um, and later on, Frontier actually went in and they changed the name of, uh, of the system to Beagle Point. And since then, it has been famous as a um, destination for many explorers and is regarded as one of the ultimate destinations that any explorer will have to visit at some point during his lifetime. The system has also been the destination for many other uh, exploration trips. In 2016, there was the Distant, Distant Worlds expedition started out in January with over a thousand commanders heading out with Beagle Point as their final destination. It took them over three months and once they finally reached the systems, over 25, well, only less than 25% of the commanders originally starting out were still left with the fleet. There's also been people doing speed runs to Beagle Point and I think the current record stands at 16 hours and 11 minutes of constant jumping, jumping in a highly specialized ship just to get out there. That is without stopping or scanning anything, just jumping and jumping um, all the way out there. Also, Jack Station, now in Colonia, was originally meant to be moved to Beagle Point, but of course it didn't make it all the way and stranded halfway there at its current location, which we now call Colonia. If you decide to head out this way yourself and visit Beagle Point, there are a few things you need to bear in mind. Not only the normal hazards of exploration, running out of fuel, getting too close to the stars, but when you're heading out here, you're gonna move through a, a section of space known as the Abyss. And it's named that because it is very, very thinly populated with stars. It's an area between two galaxy arms, and there's not a lot of stars. So this is a place where you can very easily run out of fuel. The area is quite big. It is 45,000 light years long and 2,000 light years wide. So you will have a 2,000 light year gap that you need to bridge, which is going to have very few stars. And it might be difficult to even plot a, a route through it where you can actually get enough scoopable stars. So that's something you have to, to really be careful with when you're heading out here. It would really be a shame to be stuck in the middle of the abyss without any fuel. But anyway, I really hope you liked the video. I'm going to give you a montage of the system in a little bit. And I just want to say thanks for, uh, for watching the video. If you liked it, give a like down below. And uh, yeah, consider subscribing to the channel. And until next time, I will see you guys in space.